A travel nightmare far from over. Southwest Airlines canceling more than 60% of its flights today nationwide. Incredible numbers. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galel is live at Bradley International Airport. And Aya, this really threw a wrench in holiday plans for a lot of people. I'm sure they're furious. Oh, yes, Patricia, absolutely. In fact, Southwest canceled more than 2,500 flights today alone. Some of them were supposed to depart from Bradley International Airport. Throughout the day, we've seen a lot of passengers coming up to the Southwest counter trying to rebook their flights, and it's been very frustrating for these passengers. In Baltimore, we had five cancellations. Two were because the co-pilots and the pilots weren't available, right, and the crew. We arrived in Baltimore only to find that the second leg of our trip was canceled. So stranded there late at night with two young kids. These are the stories we're hearing from Southwest passengers amid the cancellation chaos. All our Christmas presents are in the bags and all our clothes are in our bags. The widespread cancellations ruining Christmas plans and creating a headache for thousands of Southwest passengers. Nearly 3,000 flights were canceled nationwide on Monday and an additional 2,500 today. The company blaming the recent winter storm for getting flight crews out of place. The storm was not the only catalyst. What went wrong is that our IT infrastructure for our scheduling software is uh, vastly outdated. It can't handle the number of pilots, flight attendants that we have in the system uh, with our complex route network. Laura and her husband Greg ended up taking the train from Baltimore to make it to their destination in Massachusetts. Finally we got on a late train all the way here which took a very long time with two young kids and our bags never arrived. But their luggage didn't make it to Bradley. We have no Christmas gifts, but we bought a couple at the dollar store. We're like, we're just going to repackage some, some socks and gloves. And now the U.S. Department of Transportation is investigating the massive cancellations. We spoke with some passengers who tell us they themselves have filed complaints. Reporting live tonight at Bradley International Airport, Agnan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.